Hi, second graders. This is Shannon here with our grammar lesson of the week, which is on predicates. That is a big word, predicates. We're going to learn about what they are together. Every sentence must have a predicate. Now, last week during our grammar lesson, we learned that every sentence must have a subject. So now we've learned that every sentence must have a subject and every sentence must have a predicate. Remember, second graders, that the subject of the sentence is who the sentence is about, who or what the sentence is about. You can identify the predicate of a sentence by asking yourself, what does the subject of the sentence do? So first, who the sentence is about is the subject and what the subject is doing is the predicate. Let's do some practice sentences together. Here is our first sentence. Sam finds a kitten. Hmm. Well, the sentence is about Sam. He is the subject, Sam. To find the predicate, I'm going to ask myself the question, what does Sam do? What is Sam doing in this sentence? Well, well, Sam finds a kitten. So that is the predicate, finds a kitten. In the red, that is the predicate of our sentence. Here's our next sentence. He takes the kitten home. Hmm, the person that's doing the action is he, meaning Sam from the sentence before. He takes the kitten home. Hmm, what does he do? He takes the kitten home. That is the predicate of the sentence, what he is doing. He takes the kitten home. So underlined in red, that is the predicate of our sentence. The subject is he, which is Sam from earlier. He takes the kitten home. Here's our next sentence. The monkeys played in the trees. Well, the subject of this sentence is the monkeys. That's the who we are talking about. What are the monkeys doing? What did the monkeys do? Let me read the sentence again. The monkeys played in the trees. They played in the trees. That is what the subject is doing. So what the subject is doing is the predicate. They played in the trees. They jumped from branch to branch. So what did the monkeys do? They jumped. That is their predicate or their action. They jumped from branch to branch. All right? So now in Schoology, you are going to read three different sentences, and you are going to identify the predicate of each sentence, which is what the subject is doing in the sentence. Good luck, second graders, and I will see you soon.